all right what's up guys we are back with another video and we're here with the dodge dakota that's right back with the dodge dakota so this should work for all all early mid-year maybe even early late 80s dakotas um doesn't matter if it's going to be the four cylinder the six cylinder or the v8 um should be all relatively the same bolt size uh strut might change for uh dampening for weight but I, I'm not 100% sure on that. So as you can see, I took the top off and it's just hanging here. The bottom bolt is as well, just gone. I took it off. So what you're gonna need to do is bottom bolt, three fourths, three fourths nut, three fourths head for the bolt, bolt nut, three fourths on the bottom on both sides. As you can see, that one's already done over there. Over here, up top, we'll go up top. And no, I do not have this jacked up off the ground. I'm just laying underneath the back. So the top, I left one in so I can use it as like a, basically like a shelf for when I put the knee shock in. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you here. So they have ears or tabs on the ends of them. And I'm going to use that to slide in so this holds the one piece in so I can drive the nut and bolt through the other side. Now, um, this is going to be, if you're going to use metric, 13. If you're going to use SAE, it's going to be a half inch. So I use the half inch wrench up top to hold the head of the bolt in so it wouldn't slip. And then the bottom, I use the 13. So either way, half inch, half inch, or 13, 13. Or you can do what I did and do 13 and a half inch. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can slide in up from up top from behind and get to it. And just put the wrench on it just so it stops moving. Doesn't have to have that much force. Um, this one, the bolt will come out from up top. I just pulled this one out. It's down here. So we got the the 13 mill bolt and nut or the half inch bolt and nut and then we have the three fourths bolt and nut for the bottom so once you go through be cautious they are kind of pressure pressurized but it's not that bad you can control it just don't try to like whip it out and be underneath of it because it will decompress on you so try to stay out of its way because yeah now if it was a leaf spring i'd be a little bit more worried but these little gas struts they're really they have some power behind them but not really enough to scare you like if it, if you were compressing springs or something like along that nature now the struts i'm replacing with are the kybs as you can tell sorry about the lighting it's getting dark over here um they're going to be the KYB gas adjusts. Um, they're about 40 bucks a piece, 40 bucks a, uh, a strut. And here's the part number for you guys. It's gonna be KG5472. I'm gonna go ahead and link the struts for you in the description down below. Look up, this is what it's gonna look like. When you're all set up and installed, you got the new one here. Goes up nice and clean, nice silver finish. Not that that really matters because it's gonna be underneath the car or truck. And as you can see, it's like made in Japan. So it should be pretty good quality wise. Like I said, all you're gonna need, 13 millimeter socket or half inch socket, half inch or 13 millimeter wrench along with a adjustable that way when it does when you do, go to put this back on it, it, the one side gets close to the leaf spring on both ends so you can just use that to hold it in place while you tighten the nut down um, and then a 3 4 socket I use all this with the 3 8 ratchet and with the new strut when you go to put it in this might be difficult to show you guys but the new struts come banded down keep the band on it and get the top in once the top's in shift 
the bottom forward until it's in here like this. Once it's in here like this, you can use a flathead screwdriver to pry up against it and adjust it to get it lined up in the hole so you can get the bolt through it. That would be your easiest method. Don't stick a wrench in there because a wrench will get stuck. Can't stress that enough. Don't stick a wrench in there because it will get stuck and then you will have to take it apart and then fight with it to get it back up and then stick a screwdriver in there anyways. You can use the box end of the wrench to pry it up a little bit to align the bolt through the strut bottom. Um, but like I said, watch out. Depending on how big the wrench is, it's probably going to try to get stuck in there. Because once it's all installed, you don't have much space in the bottom. So keep that in mind. There's not much space. So, these are the new ones. This is one of the old ones, as you can see, it's uh, seen better days, rusting out bad up top. The bushings on it are shut. But overall, it's not that bad. Go ahead and take you up here, show you one of the uh, top uh, driver's side strut. You can see the bushings, they're all shot out top of the case has a giant hole in it you can see the uh, rod through the bottom you can go ahead and uh, push that in with my hand which is pretty bad and then the bushing on this one is again pretty beat up so keep that in mind this is not only going to be replacing the strut but it will be replacing the bushings too so double improvement there both bushings top and bottom bushings and if anybody didn't get it for the first time, piece of the KYB gas shock absorber, gas adjust. And here's the part number and a little bit better lighting for you. There you go. KG54472. Um, like I said, I will put the link to the KYB struts in the description down below. Um, if you're not already, follow the channel. If you are trying to help me grow the channel, go ahead and share the content so we can grow the channel a little bit better for the truck content, the Jenny content, the Mustang, and then hopefully soon the Subaru SVX so I get that back because that's been gone for a very long time. So I'm hoping to get that back very soon so I can include you guys in on the Subaru SVX. Um, but besides that, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, I'll go ahead and link torque specs and everything down below for you and the tools I used. Um, but yeah, like always, thanks for watching, and um, like I said, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, and uh, welcome aboard. Peace, guys.